Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for All of the Girls You Loved Before by Taylor Swift. My name is Billy from Piano and Pies, let's get stuck straight in. So there are two halves to this tutorial. There is the non-capo version, which I'm going to start with. Then if you've got the timestamp on the screen, I will have a capoed version, so you can choose which one you go for then. Here we go. So the song doesn't really feature any guitar, but you can follow along with the chords and you can come up with your own strumming pattern. The count for this tends to be in groups of sixes. So there's kind of a one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way through the song. And in the verse, which we repeat four times, there are three chords, a B minor chord. So it's playing a one, two, three, four, five, six, which is building up B minor fret two on the A string. It then goes to D major and then two lots of G. So I'll play all of that once round, B minor, D, G. And that is the verse if you loop that round four times. There is a pre-chorus which cycles around just two chords. There's an F sharp minor if we build it on fret two, going up to G. And then it goes to F minor, and G, and then F minor, then G, then F minor, and then G. Basically go between F minor and G four times, like this. Well that was half of it, do it another two times. And then you've got the full pre-chorus, F sharp minor and G. We then get to a chorus. Now the chorus, there's a few different parts for this. So if you want to get the full chord progression as well as the chords and the lyrics, feel free to check out my Patreon. There's a two pound tier where you can get all the handy PDFs and it means you can follow all the chords correctly without skipping anything. However, um, here's uh, all the chorus chords that you need. So we've got B minor, then an A major chord. Then after that, there's an E minor chord. followed by a G chord. So for the first part of the chorus, I'll just go over that again. B minor, A, E minor, G. Now the good news is the second lot of chords in the chorus are exactly the same. B minor, A, E minor, G. The third time round, they change it from B minor up to D, then G, then G again. And the final time round, they go back almost to the first chord progression of the chorus. It's B minor, A, then E minor, and stay on it. So there's a lot of chords in that chorus. Uh, feel free to scribble it down or head on over to Patreon. Um, links are in the description for that. So after that, things kind of repeat. There is a second verse, same chords as before, B minor, D, then two lots of G, four times round. There is then a pre-chorus, F sharp minor to G, F sharp minor to G. Now the first pre-chorus, they do that four times. However, on this pre-chorus, it's just twice round. So F sharp minor G, F sharp minor G. Then it leads to a chorus, thankfully the same as the previous chorus. So you just copy that. There is then a bridge and the bridge section, the kind of the middle section of the song, the middle eight, um, is the same as the pre-chorus, F sharp minor G, F sharp minor G, but they do the longer version, so you play those lots of chords four times in a row. There is then another chorus. Thankfully, that chorus is the same as every other chorus. And finally, there is an outro, which is a little bit different. We have D major, A major, then E minor, E minor again. So D, a, E minor, E minor again. And that is the outro of the song. Moving on to the capoed version. So, if you have a capo, we'll have it on fret two. That's gonna make a lot of the chords easier to play. So, the verse, we have four times around these three chords. A minor. We're counting groups of six. So if you haven't watched the previous part of the video, I talked about six kind of beats of strumming. We then go to C major, and then two bars of F major. 
Now there's no guitar in this song, so I've come up with that strumming pattern on my own. However, feel free to adapt it in your own way, but that's the length of time for the verse of the chords. A minor for a bar, C for a bar, and two bars of F. Repeat all of that four times. I'll play it through once. It then goes to a pre-chorus, where it cycles between E minor and F four times. So E minor once, F, again, a third time, and then a fourth time. We then get to a chorus. Now the chorus has lots of changes in this. So if you never heard the first part of the video, I have a Patreon page where you can get all of the chords as well as the lyrics and the chords matching up. You can get that for the capo and non capo version. There's a link in the description. It's a two pound tier and uh, you get everything there. Check it out. However, um, let's see if we can work it out as a team now. So we have A minor for the chorus, G, D minor, F. That then repeats, A minor, G, D minor, F. The third time round, we have A minor, C, and then two bars of F. And the last part of the chorus, very similar to the first part, A minor, G, but then two bars of D minor. So you can see there's lots of slight changes there. Feel free to scribble it down or head on over to Patreon. However, moving on to the next part, things start to repeat. The second verse is exactly the same as the first. A minor C, then two bars of F. You repeat all of that four times. It then goes to a pre-chorus. Unlike the first pre-chorus between E minor and F four times round, just do it twice round. E minor F, E minor F. We then get to a second chorus. The second chorus, same as the first. There's then a bridge section, thankfully the same as the first pre-chorus, E minor F, E minor F, E minor F, E minor F, four times round. We then get to another chorus, thankfully the same as every other chorus. Finally, there is an outro, that which is a little bit different. We have a C major chord, G, and then two bars of D minor. And that is the outro. C minor, G, D minor, D minor. And there we go, a pretty straightforward song. The structure and whatnot and um, the slight changes in chords are a little bit confusing. So as I've alluded to uh, in the video, head on over to Patreon if you fancy getting the chords as well as the chords and the lyrics matched up. Um, however, I'm getting very close to a thousand subscribers. Please like and subscribe. I'm so, so close. Um, I'd love it to get it in the next month or so. So thank you very much for watching guys. I shall see you in the next video.